Boris Johnson abruptly shuts down press conference after being asked if he had spoken to Donald Trump about ruling the NHS out of a future US-UK trade deal. Here's a summary of the article. Boris Johnson abruptly shut down a press conference after being asked if he had spoken to Donald Trump about ruling the NHS out of a future US-UK trade deal. Asked by The Independent if he had made it crystal clear to Donald Trump that neither the NHS or pharmaceuticals should be part of future trade negotiations, the PM threw a bit of a huff and said he wouldn't answer any more questions. Mr. Johnson seemed to be trying to strike a different tone from Trump, who just minutes earlier cancelled his post-conference press conference. American pharmaceutical companies are desperate to hike prices and charge the National Health Service more for life-saving drugs. The powerful industry has been lobbying U.S. trade negotiators to prize open the U.K. healthcare sector as part of a post-Brexit deal with the U.K. A document written by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and Coalition of Services Industries last month exposes that they are waiting to dive in post-Brexit, believing one-on-one -on -one negotiations away from the European Union leaves the U.K. vulnerable. The 24-page document, headed Services Priorities for a Future US-UK Trade Agreement, makes a worrying comparison between future trade talks and the three-year transatlantic trade and investment partnership negotiations between the US and EU, which collapsed in 2016. The report also confirms the United States will seek rules that prohibit, across all services sectors, discrimination against foreign services suppliers and restrictions on the number of services suppliers in the market. This post received a score of 20,638, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. If the US leaves the interests of big pharma and privatization enthusiasts out of its UK trade deal, that will be a first for any US trade deal in any of our lifetimes. I'd rather have more expensive luxuries than lose the free essentials that make life possible. I find it amazing how much leverage America still manages to find in trade deals. All you have to do is look at the state America is in to realize you'd never want to do things the way America does them. If my fellow Americans had any idea how much better life is for the poor and middle class in other industrialized countries that would change, but our media, politicians, and oligarchs have made people believe that social Darwinism is the way to go. Like 500,000 medical cost caused bankruptcies a year as normal. Yay Media has convinced a few generations that healthcare is impossible in countries where it's free. My dad still thinks socialized medicine is impossible even though he saw a doctor for free when he broke his ankle in Toronto a few years back. It's insane the brainwash that's gone on. Ask him this, can he name any other country who is envious of the US healthcare system? I'm not talking about a random rich person who comes to the US for cancer treatment. Yes, we have the best money can buy. But you need money. I'm talking about the system as a whole. Nobody anywhere is the world is looking at the way health care is structured in the US and saying, I wish it worked that way here. Greater than ask him this, can he name any other country who is envious of the US health care system? Conversely, is there any country with universal health care where it is still controversial? In countries that have it, it gets unanimous support. Conservatives, liberals, everyone supports it. It's often the only political issue that is non-controversial. Ronald Reagan was a harsh critic of socialist Medicare, but a few decades later, even the staunchest Republicans support it. Reagan is one of those guys that Republicans idolize without actually following any of his principles. Like Lincoln. It's purely, he was a Republican and people liked him, therefore if I say his name enough people will like Republicans more. Greater than Reagan is one of those guys that Republicans idolize without actually following any of his principles. Like Jesus. Tories will wait six to nine months to let pain begin hitting more and more people as shortages in supplies and personnel degrade NHS services. Let people get angry, let them suffer from disease and pain, and let them get desperate for a scapegoat. These will be trotted out to focus outrage on other parties and the Tories will have a great solution, let the free market fix how broken the NHS has become. Enter barely regulated US pharma companies ready and happy to provide all the supplies the NHS is suffering from shortages of at massive price hikes. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. 
The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.